Operation Sim Corridor. Operation Sim Corridor. The and City. On the local government area of one state. Karamal Bukumar Kwani. They are all Bukumar. The latest one I'm bringing the latest one. The latest one. The latest one. Uh, the me. one that is happening now, 500 or something have already graduated. They are now in Now, now, now. 2030. Pay attention to that. I will be I will give a speech now. I understand. I am committed to the federal. Those people that are wearing white, they are all Boko Haram. 500 or something. Let's get one. They have already graduated to Amazon. Pay attention. 2015. The President, Commander in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamedou Buhari, GCFR, established Operation okay. Corridor to encourage willing and repentant Boko Haram members to surrender and go through a well structured de radicalization, rehabilitation, and reintegration <laughs> program. Reintegration. You this see that. Program Began you see them. In that is when it began. By a committee constituted by the chief of defense staff to operationalize the mandate of the commander in chief. Consequently, personnel were drawn from 17 services, ministries, departments, and agencies to execute the concept of operation. Since the DR camp, became fully operational, a total of 1,070 ex-combatants, otherwise... Last year. Clients, this one was last have year. ...successfully gone through the program and we have been into, reintegrated... Now they the are society. in the army. A this new one. morning, another set of 599 clients will be graduated... Now they are into program. army. And they too will be reintegrated back to their. Are you listening? Subsequently. The graduating uh -huh. clients arrived at yes. their camp between 15th July and 6th September. You will listen to the latest one. To commence the latest one is coming. building activities of the program. Uh -huh. Together, these five yes. nine clients. Have successfully undergone series of uh -huh. screening, psychological and psychospiritual counseling, sports therapy, drug abuse counseling, Western education and vocational training, amongst others. Plus Western Similarly, education <laughs> as part of their program, special counter narrative packages by the Operation Safe Corridor clerics were organized to inculcate acceptable cultural and religious values in them. Horo, Boko Haram, they are all Boko Haram. The latest one, you, they will announce it now. The Yoruba man will announce the latest one. They have recruited them again. 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 They are recruited them again. You see that they are going to You people are bad. Nigeria is gone. You see that? The latest one they are good. They are good. Now, 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 2022. They are coming. All of you people. Pay attention to the We will talk to you people. For want of time and considering the number of graduating clients, only 20 will, be, will receive the certificate while others will have their, will have their launch at the multipurpose hall and will be directed accordingly. I am uh -huh. delighted to uh, be here this morning to witness the combined yes. ceremony of Badge Badge 5. Five. Uh -huh. Badge 4, special Badge 4 clients, all of 2021, have completed the declaration. Rehabilitation and Integration DRR program. The program, as you all know, is initiative of the President and Commander uh -huh. of Armed Forces, uh -huh. President Bugari, 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 with his own aim. Bugari is recruiting their brothers and from Senegal to Bugari members to lay down their arms and go through a structured DRR okay. program. 
The DDR program consists of series of psychological, psychosocial, psychospiritual therapies, as well as vocational training, which provides viable <laughs> alternative to low profile combatants. From inception in 2015 to date, over 1,000 clients have been processed through Operation Safety. And they have put that into military. About 984, including 60 yes. foreign nationals, successfully reintegrated to their national. Now you will hear it. Yes. This morning, the we new are one. The graduation of another set of now you pay attention to 2022. integrated in society as soon as possible. Let me at this point urge the graduate clients to appreciate and reciprocate the confidence we post in you as worthy beneficiaries of our DDR program. As you return to your communities for the reintegration phase, I urge you all to brace up for the challenges ahead. Some of you will encounter resentment and rejections in your communities, but I can assure you that if you remember and practice everything you have learned do you see the program? The amendment, 500 and something, new one. I yeah. encourage you, therefore, yes. to go out there and be worthy ambassadors. Ambassador of, of killings. By being law abiding and responsible citizens. Now you see. Uh -huh. Finally, I want to remind you of the consequences of violating the oath of allegiance you have sworn. You must uphold your pledge to, to be loyal to the federal government of Nigeria at all times and shun all forms of violence and criminality. The starter parts and statements you have received today is to enable you to practice the various trades you've learned while in the camp. It is expected that the vocational skills acquired during the program will be a source of livelihood for you and your family. Please resist the temptation to sell them as your survivor going forward we largely depend on this data part. They are swearing them in into Nigerian so militants. Now no they are paying their allegiance to Boko Nigerian military. They are, you see, they are clapping. They have already graduated. They have already graduated. Thank you so much, sir. You see? They have already, you see them. They have already graduated. Now you understand what I'm talking about. I hope you pay attention to understand what I'm talking about. You see? I want you people to understand something because we have to understand the problem. They are telling you that Boko Haram they have killed. These people have killed. These people have maimed. Now these people will go through therapy of a six month, keeping them in a house, giving them good food for them to recover. And now you give them God. You will integrate them into the society of army. Army. They are now. They have given all of them a I mean uniform. This is what I bring to you, my people, today, for you to see that a new one have been recruited again. They have recruited them. Nigeria is gone forever. Now you understand what I'm talking about. I hope you get my point. That you see all this thing that is happening. Only disintegration is the solution of that contraption. Because they will keep on trooping. I want to give you people, you know, an idea what this thing is. I mean, what they are playing. They now bring in the mercenaries. Are these their brothers from Senegambia, from Nijeo and Chad? You see, they will bring them in a sense that they are some of them. They, they are all Boko Haram because these people are terrorists. There is no way you can take that ideology of conquest from the minds of Boko Haram or Meyati Allah or bandits or Hesmen. That is not how you can take that ideology away from them. Like the way you cannot take ideology of Biafran restoration away from us. That is something I want you people to understand. A sabo will always be a sabo. A killer as a Boko Haram. I'm not talking about normal criminal. Or a arm robber. I'm talking about those that are coming with conquest. If you people don't know what is conquest, people that are coming to take over your land, take over things that belongs to you. Like they are not part of you, but they are coming with force to take over your land, take over your properties, take over everything that belongs to you. Like what is happening today? Fulani have been taking every, you know, bigger power 
every position, every higher position in that contraption had been taken by Fulanis. They said it. They are everywhere now. You see, that is something that I want you people to understand. Nigeria is gone. And some of you that are still saying that I am proudly Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. I don't lie about what I'm saying. So how do you want to tell me now that those people that are put in uniform are not those Boko Harams? That is the question I want you people to understand. And ask yourself, use that common sense, inability to reason. That is what you have to apply this time around. And ask yourself, these people now, where are they going? The man have said, use your sense. And now they have given them a clothes. The 1070 before, that was last year, 2021. Those people have already joined army. Those, this is the people that they are giving to hope. Those are them man. And they will marry. And some of them have formed a bubago. Now you understand what I'm saying? Now they have brought a new one. They brought new one. 500 and something. Now they have already graduated. And you see what shocks me. They say they go into a series of therapies. Like sports. <laughs> they say that they, will, they go through like you said. <laughs> Boko Haram go through. Their sport now is for them to give them gun to begin to, you know, to aim something. Because that's, you see that camp they put them is for them to know how to aim now, to, to, to capture very well. They also tell us they went into education. They went into Western education. The education that Fulani said they are not going to partake at all. That is not their part of the way of their life. Now they are telling you they take Western education to deceive you. Gullible Nigerians, to deceive you. That is why they said that they went into Western education and all sort of rubbish that they were saying they went into. A normal citizens that they are suffering every day. They don't even went to any therapy. That to show you today in Nigeria, even though being you a normal person, if they, if you want them to change you, you go and act like a Boko Haram. Tell them, say you are Boko Haram then. They will carry you, give you good food, put you in a good house. For six months, train you. You go through school, go through sport, go through everything, drug. You go through everything. At the end, they will give you uniform. That is the best way to enter army this time around. And I'm giving you people tips. Because that is exactly what they are telling you to do. Go at Boko Haram. Go and bomb any place. Tell them you're a Boko Haram. They will recruit you. They will, you will graduate from there. And they will give you uniform now. Now you have, have that audacity. Now to kill. Because now you have gotten the uniform. And they have already given you number. You have already go training of army by putting you in one house, giving you good food and good everything. Clothes. You see Boko Haram, they are wearing clothes. Every, every of them wear, wear white. I say whiter than white. You see what I'm talking about? They will keep on deceiving you people. A Yoruba man give a speech. A, a Yoruba man is the one that give the end of the speech. And he have forgotten that full and he have taken some part of their land. They have forgotten. All these people are the willing tools they are talking about. You think that willing to will be a, a full and a man? No. A willing to will be a Yoruba man. A willing to will be a Biafran man. This is how it is. They have said it from the beginning. We will find somebody from you to pay him. If another one said no, we will find another person. We will get your brother. They tell you, and that is that, you, that is why European man will begin to talk nonsense from his mouth. That they have saw them, they have got series of uh, uh, training. Tell me what series of training that Boko Haram that have been killing, maiming, killing thousands of. If you ask them, they don't even know how many people they have killed. They don't know. Now you recruited them. At the same time, give them army uniform. Now you are giving them overall power that they are now recognized to go out there and kill. So tell me, how do you want me to believe that today Nigeria have army? How do you want me to believe it? That the, all those people that we are seeing parading themselves, they are not all Boko Haram. This is the question that I'm leaving for you people to begin to think and use your brain. They have by all of you people. 
Fulani, they are mercenary, they are telling them that they should come to Nigeria is their land. They are now there. Your own. Oh, look, okay, Munu from Nanya. You go be like thing. And it's beginning to happen. They have already recruited 500 or something. The latest one, 2022. You are there yapping. Good day, great people of Biafra. As they remain the Biafra child, watch make a mass of The general.